today what is fueling the growth in commercial office design is the tenants need to more effectively recruit, engage, and retain the best talent. Real estate gives them a strategic uh, advantage if it's properly conceived. So we need to create an environment in which they can achieve their best. They need to have access to the kind of environment that allows them to really connect. And that goes into the kinds of amenities that we're seeing. Now we need a proper conference center because so many tenants don't really have the means or wish to spend them on a major conference room. But in a Heinz Conference Center, they can have those kind of resources and they can have a world-class fitness center. They can have proper food establishments. And frankly, an environment that makes them feel welcome and makes them want to be a part of the mission of the organizations that they belong to. The whole key is about recruiting the best, retaining the best. We're seeing a focus on the live, work, play environment, and so we're building mixed-use facilities to accommodate that, or we're locating new buildings in areas where they already have part of that so that we can fill that void. When tenants look at a market, if they're going to look at a, at a downtown submarket, location is important, but once the tenant arrives at the building and they're there all day, they look at the environment, they look at the amenities, they look at is there a fitness center, is there a conference center, how close is food service, how close are we to the arts district and entertainment, and can we go entertain our client at night? Everything about work, workers, and workplace is changing and has been changing for the last five years. But the next 10 years, I think we will see an incredible acceleration. A lot of that is driven by technology and automation and the opportunity for humans to focus on really high value work instead of rote process work. Typically, buildings in the past, the ground floor lobby has been pretty stagnant. It's, it's museum-like. You rarely see anyone staying in the lobby very long. It's a pathway from the front door to the elevators. We're starting to create lobbies that have more of a hospitality feel. They're not as cold in finishes. They're warmer, uh, more inviting. We're providing seating areas so that you can sit and talk to a friend or a coworker. We're introducing food and beverage so that there is a reason to stay there for a period of time. The rise of the co-working phenomenon is having a huge impact on how organizations think about their workplace. Corporations are actually reserving space in these co-working environments, so they've got to be focused on unleashing the human potential that they've got in their organizations and really driving innovation and creativity. The creative office is more of a feel of an old warehouse building, but new systems and, and great technology uh, provided to the tenants in those facilities. T3 is great, it's timber. That technology is changing. An expression that my clients have used, my, the tenants in our buildings, they're seeking a competitive advantage. The best talent is rare. As that talent war has grown, every tool is engaged to be able to convince them to come to your organization and be a part of the mission for your company. In another era in the 80s, I don't feel like we ever even had a conversation about the challenge of, of recruiting or retaining the talent. But today, it's essential. And that's one of the primary reasons that you can see the transformation in a properly designed commercial office building.